A very serious crash on Boylston Street in Boston. A pedestrian hit at Charles Street South. From Sky Eye, you can see several emergency crews are on the scene. We want to get right to WBZ's Beth Germano, who's live there on the scene. Beth? Police are still on the scene here, and the images that you see behind me tell the story. If you take a look, the black pickup truck appeared to jump the curb. That was the vehicle that was involved, the black pickup truck, and what witnesses describe is a horrific crash. It started with a loud bang that sounded like they say cars were striking each other, but witnesses say a young woman was struck, apparently was pushed up right against that metal grate at the public garden. Now, witnesses say she was walking with perhaps three other women. They may have been tourists in the area. One of the women was a sister. She was screaming that it was her sister. Now, witnesses say a nurse who happened to be in the area did run to try to help the woman. The victim was unresponsive, and we are told now that she does have life-threatening injuries. Let's hear what one of the witnesses had to say. We heard this loud crash um, and car horns honking and then lots of girls screaming. So we kind of ran over here and to see what was happening and see if we could help um, anyone. And we just saw, I don't know, lots of um, rubble on the floor and there was a, a car halfway up this pillar um, and the car is totally so again, it looks like the pickup truck jumped the curb, striking the woman. Now, according to witnesses, the driver got out of the truck and walked away. We don't have confirmation from that. We have not been able to talk yet to police. Witnesses say it was a male driver who seemingly walked away. We don't know if police have been in contact with him. We do know this woman was rushed to the hospital with life-threatening injuries. All this happening is that pickup truck pushed a woman right up against the metal grate right here at the public garden. Reporting live from Boston, I'm Beth Germano, WBZ News.